this is the case containing the AVO Model 9 Mark IV. It's similar to a Model 8 Mark III. This is the uh, international version. Okay, now your earlier AVOs had uh, either wood or metal cases. By this time they were getting towards uh, plastic cases and on their earliest ones they had some trouble with the screws uh, causing some cracks in the, in the plastic case. And this one here has a fairly long crack extending from here. Uh, just something you gotta put up with, I guess. Uh, by the way, uh, previously I'd said this one was from 1968. Uh, I don't know where I got that. Apparently it's 1971. I see the date right here. Okay, and I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, but I'm gonna try and show this anyway. On the older AVOs, the, at some of them anyway, the meter movement is exposed in the back, and so they have grease in the, uh, in the case there to capture any, any particles that might somehow be uh, inside the case. You can see that moving coil there in, in, in the meter, right? Right down here. Now these have a mechanical cutout for the meter movement. That little mechanism is, is right under here. And I just, uh, as you can tell from the sound, I just tripped the mechanism. <coughs> now this, this model has more adjustments in it than, than the other one did. But just look at this thing. Just uh, once again, a, a work of art, a high voltage resistor. This would be the shunt for the meter movement, probably. Uh, AC current transformer. Uh, I believe that your uh, Simpsons were actually inspired by the AVOs. The timing would be about right. The AVOs came along about 1923 or so, and uh, Ray Simpson started putting out his models about the time the original AVO patents would have expired. Okay, now we're going to try and compare some voltage readings. I'll be uh, adjusting it for an indicated voltage on the AVO and then seeing what the fluke reads. Okay, and we're on a 3 volt DC range. Let's try and, we'll start out with pretty much full scale. Okay, it reads just about three volts exactly on the fluke. As you can see, it's doing pretty well. Ten volt range. Oh, let's try mid scale. We'll shoot for about one and a half volts. <clears throat> 